what weapon do we have against Satan? Is the leading of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Ghost begins to lead you, you become invincible. John 3, 8, he says, as the wind bloweth, thou listest not from whence it cometh or where it goeth. He says, so are they that are born by the Spirit of God. You read Psalm 23 from verse 1 to 3. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in great pasture. He leadeth me beside the still waters. See the battle the man fought. He even went through the valley of the shadow of death. Yet he couldn't die. Because the Holy Ghost was his leader. If God leads you, everything you are going through is a potential testimony. These are weapons. And this is why through Christianity we teach you to apprehend these things for yourself. Because therein lies your victory. Number five, what's your weapon against Satan? And I will stop here. Is holy living. Ephesians 4 27, giving no place to the devil. Satan is looking for those who will give him a place. In 1 Peter 5 8, he says, Your adversary, this, the devil, is prying like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. It's those who give him space that he devours. If you don't give him space, he can't devour you. Ecclesiastes 10, 8 says, if you break the hedge, he said the serpent will bite you. So anything God gives you as a consecration, keep it. There are some of you here, the Holy Ghost tells you, leave alcohol. It's for your own good. Though. There are some of you, God tells you, leave womanizing. It's for your own good. Don't make us come and gather in the hospital and start trusting God. It may not work. Because, because it's in that hospital that you will truly repent. And God is more interested in your soul in heaven than for you to come on earth and go back to the brothel. So no matter how many of us gather, even if we see an angel descend, you will go to heaven that day. It's a precious in the eyes of the Lord. is the dying of the saints. For the first time you are a saint, so God will take you home. Hiya ho, hiya ho. Hiya ho, hiya ho. the flesh. He said for the weapons of our warfare they are not carnal. He said they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. What is that weapon? Casting down imagination and every high standing thing that opposes itself above the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity all things to the obedience of Christ. If you don't pray you can't win. In Ephesians chapter 6 after he showed us all the armor of God from verse 13 to 17 in verse 18 he said pray all kinds of prayer see sometimes when you enter battle you switch from one prayer to another from prayer of faith to prayer of petition to prayer of intercession to prayer of agreement because you will need to weave through prayer to have victory if you cannot pray sir you will fail a thousand times I will tell you you know why all our advantages are activated in prayer. When you start praying, you get to a point where the Holy Ghost helps you. Romans chapter 8 verse 26, it says, for we know not what to pray for as we ought to. It says, but the Spirit helpeth our infirmities with groanings that cannot be altered. So when you pray, God becomes part of the army. 
and that's not all when you pray angels do and mobilize in Acts chapter 12 from verse 1 to 5 the Bible said Herod stretched his hand and vexed some of the church and he took James the brother of Peter and slew him he said when he saw that he pleased the Jews he went for Peter and threw him in prison and six guards 16 guards were guiding him waiting for the day that he will bring him to kill him they said but prayer prayer was made of the church prayer was cooked of the church for him and the Bible said an angel descended the moment the angel landed the door of the prison opened on his own accord the chain fell down it was the angel that led him to salvation when we pray angels join our rank and that's not all when we pray spirit of judgment made perfect also show up in Matthew 17 verse 2 the Bible said as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered. His raiment began to glister. And he said there appeared Moses and Elijah. Do you know how to strengthen your battle formation? It's by prayer. When you start praying, if it's a battle that involves kings, Elijah can come back. When you start praying, if it's a battle that involves Babylon, Daniel can come back. If you start praying, if it's a battle that involves and harassing the church, Ananias can come back because just when made perfect can join your rank. The Holy Ghost join your rank. Angels join your rank. That's why only champions pray and only those who pray are champions. Can we pray the Holy Ghost for one minute? Can we pray in the Spirit for one minute? And come to Jesus. Can we pray? Can we pray? It's not a fellowship prayer. You, you can fellowship with God and have fun. But if it is warfare, you must travel. The Bible says Jesus prayed until the sweat coming out of him was like blood. It said he prayed and his strong prayer and tears was heard of God. God answered the travail. But to show you the intensity, there was sweat. There was agony. There was thickness of blood because he said the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man. That's why I told you it's not about the tears, it's not about the caricature, but your heart must feel it. And when your heart feels it, there will be tears. There
there will be weeping, there will be travail. You need to pray until it touches your heart. It said the effectual heartfelt prayer of a righteous man. A very next month. That's the power. That's the prayer that generates power. Can we travail for just two minutes in this place? Can we travail? Travail until there is fear. Travail until there is sweat. Travail until there is weeping. Travail until there is transformation. Transfiguration. By all means, let it touch your heart. Focus on the heart. Let there be a stirring of the spirit. Teaching on 
some prayer. Oh, I would have shown you some keys. See, when you pray, God will join your army. He's the leader, but he'll become part. He said, as we grow, the spirit began to help us. When you pray, angels join your rank. When he prayed, the Bible said the fashion of his countenance was altered. Elders from heaven will join your rank. And that's not all. When you pray, the anointing of your spirit becomes volatile. The anointing begins to flow. You dearly belong, building up yourself upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Can we stare? Stretch one more time. Stretch one more time. Stretch one more time. They say Paul and Barnabas were cast in prison. At midnight, Acts 16, 25, they prayed and gave thanks and sang praises. The door opened on its own accord. Doors are about to open. Prison gates are about to open. Can we pray? Encounter Jesus. Lekete keteke. Lekete keteke. Basta, 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 basta. Ezezezina. Barakata pai. Ebelele, ebelele. Ebelele, Ebelele, Aperuta, Baba, Zeniana, Baruta, Babacado, Zekea, the gate to the city is about to open. The gate to the city is about to open. Aperana, Mariata, Abelaruda, Babacade. In the name of 
Jesus. Hey. Lift your right hand. There are two things about to happen now. Please be sensitive. You are ready to receive. The first thing that will happen now is that prison doors will open on their own accord. Just lift those hands. Don't do anything. When we pray, things happen. There are some of you, the fire of God will hit you suddenly. And those powers that have kept you in one place for decades, for years, for months, they will break. Lord, where are they now? Ushers, help me. You will bring those ones to the altar. Because it's altar that is fighting for them now. By the spirit, wherever you are standing, held down by powers, by chains, ancestral covenants, patterns of the bloodline, demonic orchestration, territorial influences. Now, those gates are opening. Those chains are breaking. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! My God! My God! I shall save them! Bring them to the altar! Bring them to the altar quickly! It's a moment of the Spirit! It's a zenny! It's a zenny! On ground online, on ground online, carry that fire, carry that grace, carry that weight. Bekezuza, Bahila, Bahela, Behe, Lehila, Hadua, Bakakata, Bantari, Baragadoa. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Over my life, oh Yahweh. Into the altar.
be activated. Some of you standing here, your generation should gather around you now. But Satan has created a system that has negated the manifestation of your ordination. You have a voice, you have a skill, you have a wisdom, you have a mantle, but it cannot be heard. Leave that hand now. He says, Savior shall come forth from Mount Zion to judge to judge the mountains of Israel. I hear silence in the spirit. We hail you. We worship you. We hail you. We hail you. We hail you. Ha! Warriors have been summoned. Warriors, warriors, warriors. Echoes of eternity, echoes. Voices that align with the vibrations of your ordination. Warriors, warriors. Carriers of graces, carriers of anointings, carriers of dimension. Father, wherever they are standing, upon the neck of Mount Zion are the shield of many warriors. Mantles ancient in dimension. Wherever they are standing, Father, let the Spirit find them. Now, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. We hail you. Us accept them. I see graces fall. I see mantles rest. Carry them now. We to be giving nations as inheritances. Uh -huh. Men are about to be giving territories for inheritances. They say, ask of me. I will give you the heating for an inheritance. The uttermost part of the earth for your possession. The capacity to water cities. The capacity to water nations. Wherever you are standing. They say, you are a city set upon a hill. There are three of you that will come under a violent unction and the prophetic will gush forth. 
wherever you are standing, prophetic intercessors, watch us from the heights of the heavens. Now hear the alarm. Hear the summon. Hear the summon. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Somebody is where he's been worn a new garment. The armor of God. And what that means is that the consciousness of this order, the consciousness of this equipment is being activated. Wherever you are standing now, the same fire that I represent, the witness of revival, let it come upon you violently like the winds of the spirit. Touch! Thank you, Father. Listen, we are out of time. But you see, the prayer thing is not for a service. There are laws that govern prayers that produce results. The first law is the law of consistency. It says, early in the morning, Jesus went to a solitary place. There he prayed. Daniel prayed every day, three times, facing Jerusalem. Consistency. The second law of prayer that produces results is praying from revelation. I've said that already. The third law is the law of focus. Effectual means well-targeted prayer. The fourth law is the law of intensity. Heartfelt prayer. And the fifth law is the law of faith. When you pray and you do not doubt in your heart. So God is bringing most of you to the place of the altar. So that you can fulfill your ordination from there. Now I prophesy over you. Everyone in this service... The powers of your ordination are activated now. It doesn't matter where you are situated. It can be in the academia, it can be in media, it can be in, 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 in government, it can be in church, wherever you are situated. I decree now the powers of your ordination are activated now. Thank you, Father. Bring as many of them to the altar as you can. These ones have become offerings to God. Bring the little gear here. Can you imagine? The King of Zion. My God. Yahweh. 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 Use her for your glory, Father. Let the mantles of the ancients come upon her. In the power of the spirit, let this one become a voice of a nation, a light in darkness, carrying rivers in the spirit to our generation. Been manipulated by serpentine spirits. Every time your season comes, you are hooked up to something around sexual sin or sexual perversion. Some is even in your dream, you are molested, and that dream is gone. That season is gone. Now, hear me. I write a new law by the spirit. Every season that has been manipulated out of your destiny, I decree restoration now. And every power that has found an in route into your life, manipulating your destiny, I command them to check out now. In the name of Jesus, 
I end those patterns in your life. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. If you were blessed by this message you just listened to, and you wish to make Jesus your Lord and personal Savior, kindly repeat the prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, and that he died for my sins. He was raised from the dead for my justification. I, therefore, confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I am born again. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. If you just said these prayers, congratulations. You are now a member of the family of God. Kindly send us an email, prayer at encounterjesusministriesinternational.org. You can also visit our website at www.encounterjesusministriesinternational.org. God bless you.